Scary moments on the Maumee River today. A water rescue near Waterville turns into a three hour ordeal. It happened just before three o'clock off the shore of Farnsworth Park in Waterville. 13 ABC's Senna Ora live with the the unbelievable details surrounding this rescue all new at 11, Senna. Well, Lee, this involved a family of four. There were no injuries. This family just happened to get stuck in some shallow water, but they weren't the only ones. Boaters heading into the mighty Maumee this weekend need to watch out. It's fast moving water and if your motor dies or something, you could be in trouble pretty quickly. Max Buckmaster and his wife and two kids were testing out their boat for the first time this season near Farnsworth Park, but bottomed out in the shallow rocky water. All those rapids out there, low rocks, there's only probably five six inches of water in most of that place out there. The river was too shallow for Waterville's rescue boat and the rocks ended up clipping the propellers of Monclova Township Fire's rescue boat. This delayed the family's rescue until Napoleon's hovercraft arrived. Three were brought back to the shore, but it didn't end there. Max didn't want to leave his boat untethered and so he refused to get in the hovercraft the first time around. This move surprised those watching along the banks. I thought that was very odd. Because even if he comes, what, where's the boat going to go? The boat's stuck, so. His refusal pushed back rescue efforts by another hour. Once officials tied the boat down, Max climbed aboard the hovercraft and was brought back to shore the same time his boat was reeled in. They really need to know the water that they're going to be traversing in. Uh, know the water. That's the biggest thing. Waterville's fire chief says extended rescues like this are risky. It's very dangerous. It, it puts... Uh, our, our department and our, our community in, in, in peril when they do that. Um, that's why we always try to work with, to get them to safe as, as soon as possible without any conflict. Reporting, Senna Ora, 13 ABC Action News.